All right, uh, turned out to be a pretty nice afternoon across the area, especially temperature wise. After a very chilly start, we were expecting uh, the day to be filled with clouds and some sunshine from time to time. That's exactly what we're seeing right now, some mid and high level clouds. And that actually will stick around with us here through early tonight before moving out. So this is going to set us up for a very nice. Thursday across the area. Here's a look at what we're, what we're tracking here as we head through the end of the week, and you can see that those skies will gradually clear out overnight tonight. It's going to be another chilly night. Temps again are going to be dropping well into the 30s for many locations, but we are going to see a spectacular afternoon for your Thursday. A lot more sun tomorrow, and temperatures are going to be warmer into the mid 60s across the area, at least for many locations. There may be some spots that'll get close to 70, and then it looks like the clouds are going to make their return, especially by Friday afternoon. And there's still a very small chance for a shower later Friday night as the front makes its way into the region. The rain chances with this next front do not look impressive at all, and that's going to set us up here for a pretty nice weekend across our area. Just a little bit cooler. Temperatures across the board ranging anywhere from the mid to lower 50s, really depending on where you are here in Baltimore. Baltimore, we're looking at upper 50s, currently 58. Same thing for Frederick, Westminster at 57, Queenstown at 55 degrees, Easton at 55, and Centerville also at 55 degrees over on the eastern shore. So again, mostly cloudy skies through late tonight. We will start to clear out, though, after midnight, and that's when we expect those high clouds to start moving out of the area. We should end up with a full day of sunshine here for tomorrow with high temperatures again topping out into the uh, middle 60s across the region. Now, all this cloud cover is as a result of a storm system that's trying to develop off to our south. The state of Florida right now, particularly the southern peninsula, is getting soaked right now. There is a flood threat there overnight tonight. But then that same storm system is going to track up the east coast as a nor'easter. It's going to stay far enough offshore where we're really not going to see much effects from it. But we're going to be keeping an eye on this front as it approaches. And notice how the rain falls apart as it approaches our area. So there's still a slight chance for a shower late Friday night, early Saturday morning, and then behind that looks like things clear out nicely here heading into the weekend. So here's your forecast for tomorrow night's Ravens game again against the Bengals. 815 kickoff expecting temperatures in the low 50s under mostly clear skies, so no issues expected here across the area. Here's what you can expect here for rain chances. The best chance for showers likely coming as we get towards looks like uh, I'd say Tuesday, Wednesday. We're gonna have another, another storm system that has an even more promising chance for rain. Then that should move out though just in time for Thanksgiving. First alert seven-day forecast. Near 70 coming up on Friday. Skies will become mostly cloudy and then a chance for showers late Friday night, Saturday morning, and then clearing out as we head into the weekend. Back to you.